Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Happy with IK. Hope you're all doing good. So today's topic will be on the mass processing of uh, production orders and uh, process orders. So we'll see how to use the transaction COHV and uh, COHVPI. Uh, so to basically perform a mass change uh, into an existing production order or a process order. So let's get started. So here in the transaction of uh, COHV which is basically used uh, to manage uh, production orders and uh, we use a COHV PI to basically manage uh, the mass processing of process orders. So this particular transaction I mean COHV it uh, looks similar to the COISPI the reporting related to production orders but uh, we do see uh, another option of mass processing okay so this ma mass processing helps you uh, basically to maybe you have a, a set of uh, production orders uh, for a particular material or maybe it belongs to a specific mrp ca uh, controller and then you would like to release all these orders together uh, at once so you don't want to go into each and every production order and do the release process or maybe to execute a, a, a missing part list uh, something like that right so for that purpose we basically use this uh, transaction COHV so to show you uh, an example I'm choosing the production plant here and these are my selection parameters and the system status here I choose is created which means that the output of this uh, report or the transaction it basically should give me the list of open production orders with the status of created so that i can choose and release them all together and down below for more uh, filter purpose i am going to provide the uh, basic start date and the basic finish date now click on execute and here we see the list of uh, open production orders that are with this status as created. So the next activity is that I have to select these production orders maybe all together or if not you only want to release a few of them just uh, select them and uh, open this option for the mass processing. So if you just click on this icon you will see this pop up screen where you can choose the function as a release so the options that we have in COHV are only related to these functions okay so something like uh, if you want to schedule a particular production order or if you want to do a cost estimate in that um, uh, uh, sorry I mean to say the costing uh, in the production order and release and also if you want to create uh, or generate the control recipes and also the printing of uh, shop floor papers, the material availability check, create capacity requirements, confirmation, techo, close and a picking. Or you also can set the uh, user status for the delete, uh, for the deletion. So these are the available options that we have here. So now I'm, uh, I want to release them all at once. So you can choose this option as uh, output logs so that uh, once the, uh, the transaction has been executed you will see the output with the information messages accordingly. And uh, now you see the function parameters as a release control order as order release or collective order re release or release of the first operation or a release of the first operation in dependent orders. So here I'm going to choose this option as order release and then click on execute. So now the output log, it shows that this, these particular orders have been released, right? The function it shows as a release. So if I don't use that checkbox as uh, output logs, then I will not be able to 
see that uh, information over here and now if i do a, a refresh these orders that i have selected the first uh, five orders they should disappear from this particular transaction or the report because the status has been changed from crtd to release refresh and now you see that they have been removed from this report why because the status has been updated from crtd to rel in the same way let's take a, another example something like uh, i want to take the uh, production orders which are basically uh, having the status as delivered or dlv so dlv it basically you know tells us that the production activity is completed uh, and the goods receipt is also posted so i'm going to choose that status as teco and execute so in the output we can see there are four uh, production orders with the status dlv right so i want to teco them all together so again select those and then click on mass processing and choose the function you would like to perform like technically complete output logs and then execute now you can see that the technically completion activity has been executed successfully for these orders and now if i go back here and do a refresh now we can see that the status teco has been updated in these orders so this is basically for the production order in the same way we can use cohvpi to manage the mass processing of process orders so i'll choose the plant 1000 here and the system status is i would like to pick the orders with uh, which are in the status of created so i choose crtd and execute so here are a few of them so i select let's say the first four go to mass processing and release output logs and execute so if there are any problems while releasing the order then you have this uh, error message uh, generated by the system so if you go into this it shows that the system status approval not granted is basically active uh, in this process order so it cannot be released in the same way the control recipes were not created for this particular process order so it can also uh, not be released so we only have two success uh, orders sorry three so it is let me just go back and do a refresh yeah so here you can see the message type as an error message so these two orders are not processed and the other two were uh, successful now let me do a, a refresh right so the orders with uh, the successful messages it got disappeared from here in the same way let's do it for uh, let me choose the orders with uh, the status dlv here are uh, a few now i'm going to select few of them and do a mass processing now click on technically complete output log and execute so now you can see that this order is actually technically completed okay so these are basically completed uh, in the earlier stage so for that i can actually use this another category to exclude the orders with teco status so choose this status teco and check this box as 
exclude and then I can only see these process orders with the status as released and delivered but not decoded. okay so I'll choose the first three technically complete output logs and execute so now these are successfully decoded. do a, a refresh over here and now we can see that those orders were removed from this report. In the same way, let's try to confirm uh, an order that is actually released. So let's say uh, I would like to uh, choose this order, which are basically with the status released, but not delivered yet, right? It means that my order is still in work in progress. So I choose DLV and check this box for exclusion so that my process orders with the status delivered will be excluded from the output but it will pick the orders with the status release so let me select few of them and do the mass processing and here i would like to uh, perform the mass processing of confirmation output logs on execute so here we see there are few error messages related to the confirmation saying that there is an error in determining the actual cost for the order okay so let's take this example uh, and try to process this manually through COR6N COR6N and enter the order number Is seven thousand two thousand two. Let me try to confirm this. So here also it shows uh, the similar error that there are errors in the actual uh, cost calculation and now do you want the error log to be uh, confirmed uh, and do you want to see the error log for the confirmations then click on yes it shows that the work center so and so has no cost center so that the confirmation is actually terminated that is the re reason we were not able to uh, process the confirmation in the mass processing okay so this is how the COHV and COHVPI works and uh, please do uh, keep in mind that the functions that we see here are only possible uh, in performing these transactions uh, COHV and COHVPI.